This video is to show you that the orthopedic surgeon could block the nerves, specifically five nerves, the lateral femoral cutaneous, femoral, obturator, sciatic, and posterior femoral cutaneous nerve on the femoral and inguinal area for anesthesia purpose. Surgery for patella fracture could not be done under blocking the femoral, lateral femoral cutaneous, and obturator nerve, and general knee arthroscopic surgery is usually performed under femoral, sciatic, lateral femoral cutaneous, and obturator nerve block. Most of the surgery around the ankle is possible under femoral sciatic nerve block, and foot surgery could be done only by blocking the sciatic nerve. We prepare the anesthetics like the clip that will be shown. After the short video clip, I will show you the actual technique of blocking each nerve mentioned above with guidance of the ultrasound. Uh, now let me tell you and show you about the original nerve block of the lower extremity. We will block the lateral femoral cutaneous, femoral, obturator, sciatic, and posterior femoral cutaneous nerve in stepwise method. You can see the ASIS over here and as scanning distally, sartorius muscle could be seen. As moving the probe between the proximal and the distal portion of the sartorius, a long ovale or comet shaped border of the sartorius muscle is found, which runs from the medial to the lateral side distally. Now we will puncture the skin with a 23 gauge spinal needle. After the injection, a clear view of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve running distally from just medial to the SIS. The next is the femoral nerve block. Starting from the lateral side, femoral nerve, femoral artery, and the vein is observed. If it compress these structures, the vein will which lacks intensity the most is easily compressed and vanished. Through the femoral artery is a single artery, but as running distally, it branches into deep femoral and superficial femoral artery. Not only the artery, but also the femoral nerve is divided on the level where the femoral artery branches. Actually, the femoral nerve branches a bit more distal to the artery. Now we will block the femoral nerve. You can see the femoral nerve beneath the deep fascia of the iliopsoas muscle, just lateral to the femoral artery. We insert the needle one centimeter lateral to the probe. You can feel the puncture of the deep fascia and inject the anesthetic with continuous ch continuously checking the needle tip by scanning it with the probe. By handling the needle, we inject it all the way through the deepest portion of the femoral nerve. You can see the femoral nerve forming a round shape being separated from the fascia.
After any movement of the needle, always, you must check the vascular injury by regurgitating the syringe. The femoral nerve divides into the branches on the level where the femoral artery divides into the deep and superficial artery. We will change the probe to hip mode from the elbow and shoulder mode. A broader view is achieved and the needle tip could be checked. If we take a look on the medial side, proximally the superior ramus of the pubis and distally the pectineus, abductor magnus, longus and brevis muscle is seen. Unlike the other nerves, the obturator nerve is located deep and is thin. It is easily it is not easily observable. Thus we find the obturator artery which runs along the nerve and inject the anesthetics around the artery. We change the probe to Doppler mode. On the distal area of the superior ramus, the obturator artery is found between the pectineus, adductor magnus, and brevis. We proceed the needle to this area. You can see the fluid collection around the artery. And that was the nerve block of the femoral and obturator nerve. Now we will flex the patient's knee. To block the sciatic nerve, we put the probe on the popliteal crease. The popliteal vein disappears when compressed and the artery does not. Distally, the common perineal nerve and tibial nerve is seen. When moved proximally, the two nerves become one sciatic nerve. If we move a little bit more proximally, there is the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the superficial layer. By changing the direction of the needle after blocking the sciatic nerve, the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve could also be blocked. To perform surgery below the knee, 
the sciatic nerve should be blocked, and for tor thigh tourniquet pain or knee surgery, the sciatic nerve should be blocked on the most proximal area. The needle should be inserted between the posterior margin of the iliotibial band and gastrocnemius muscle when performing sciatic nerve block for easy handling of the needle. The direction of the needle is from the posterior lateral side to the anteromedial side. After inserting the needle, injection is done. For thick nerves such as sciatic nerve, it is important that not only the lateral side but also the medial side should be covered with anesthetics by handling the needle. You can see the fluid collection around the nerve. You could also check it longitudinally. After checking the lateral and medial hamstring, by changing the direction of the needle, and block of the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve is performed. You can see both sciatic and posterior femoral cutaneous nerve being blocked. In some cases, for anti-anxiety and sedation purpose, preoperatively, midazolam is used. These are some specific cases. Case 1. This case with pillum fracture underwent external fixation with femoral sciatic nerve block. And after healing of the soft tissue, again, on the femoral sciatic nerve block, internal fixation was done. After achievement of the union of the bone, again, metal removal was performed under femoral sciatic nerve block. Case 2. This patient underwent three times of infection control by debridement of under femoral sciatic nerve block due to DM foot infection. A full thickness skin graft was performed with femoral sciatic nerve block and locus anesthesia. The third case underwent three times of infection control by debridement under femoral sciatic nerve block due to DM foot infection. A large size split thickness skin graft was performed after femoral sciatic nerve block and lateral cutaneous nerve block. For the infected Achilles tendon rupture, a turn down reconstruction was done under femoral sciatic and posterior femoral cutaneous nerve block. Thank you very much.